Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List. And on today's show, I'm here at the Emirates Stadium, the home of Arsenal Football Club. How do they treat Spurs fans? Let's find out. The Emirates Stadium. Built to replace the former Highbury ground, this is home to the Arsenal, the Gunners, the Red and White Army. This stadium holds just over 60,000 spectators. It's absolutely massive. And it's in its fair share of history already. But what's the stadium actually like to go around? Well, let's find out. After walking out to the tube station, it's dead easy to find. Literally around the corner and down the street, and you'll come across the ticket office. Up the stairs and across the Ken Fryer Bridge, and you'll come across the Emirates Stadium. And boy, this place is massive. Seriously, the camera angle here really doesn't do it justice because it is a behemoth of a stadium. Everything here is giant sized. And it seems to be very popular with runners and dog walkers at this time of the morning. I'm not sure if this is a regular occurrence, so if you live around here, let me know in the comment section below if this is normal for people to use this as some kind of urban gym. But anyway, I highly recommend you walk around the stadium at least once and check out some of the cool features, such as the original Highbury clock, which is located at the clock end, the statue of Herbert Chapman overlooking it all, there's plenty of names engraved into the brick here, and Celebration Corner, highlighting some of the best players in Arsenal's history. Speaking of greatest players, I highly recommend that you check out the statues of Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, and Big Tony Adams. So when you get bored of that, you'll need to go downstairs towards the armory store, and that's where the stadium tours actually start. So down these stairs you go, and the armory store has these two giant cannons in front of it, so really, really can't miss it. Anyway, I'm armed with my Tottenham shirt. Let's see what happens. Oh, hello there. What's this? What? No, no, what? You watch, you watch, you watch. You fucking watch, you fucking watch. Get out of here. This is the part where it turns a little bit sour. He'd obviously taken exception to the fact that I was wearing a Tottenham shirt and tried to steal my camera off me. The armory store security guard jumped between us pretty quickly and I was ushered into the armory store by a member of the Arsenal staff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you usually get people like that? Huh? Do you usually get people like that? No. No. I don't know. What, what was the saying you? No. I was reassured by the Arsenal staff that this is an isolated incident, and this definitely doesn't happen every day. And incidences like that generally shake people up, but the staff here, especially Crystal, was very reassuring that I was actually welcome here. But well, I am okay here. Oh, with... no, you don't be silly. Look, and it, yes, we're Arsenal. Yes, there's that rivalry yeah, yeah, yeah. under Derby, but look, you're more than welcome to shop in here, stay in here, whatever. Whatever you're most comfortable with, that, that, okay. that's fine. Cool, so, yeah. was you planning to visit us today? It was very reassuring to know that Crystal and the Arsenal staff are very receptive of fans from any team, and she made me feel very much at ease here, so if she is watching, thank you very much. Anyway, it's time to check out some of the stuff they've got to sell, and traditionally, Arsenal have some very, very nice kits. I actually like this season's new kit, I think it's pretty good, and if you're not interested in that, there's plenty of other stuff to buy, such as this. Look at the Gunnosaurus. Look at the Gunnosaurus! Look at it! Okay, I'll stop being childish now and tell you that the Arsenal Stadium Tour entrance is literally at the back of the shop. You can pay on the day, but I highly recommend that you book in advance. Hi, morning bro, how's it going? How are you? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Right. Thank you very much sir. Thank you. Okay. I see you are a fan of the Hotspur, yeah, no problem. Sure. <laughs> no problem, okay. Nah, I'm actually a scumbag, but thank you very much for asking. Once you get your tickets, you get a set of headphones and you pick up your audio guide. After a quick bag check, you literally fire up the audio guide, press the start button, and it actually directs you as to where to go. The first port of call is, oh, it's a car park. Well, as far as car parks go, it's actually quite a nice car park. But at every station, there's a helpful member of staff looking to direct you or give you very interesting information. One thing that you'll notice almost immediately, the attention to detail here is pretty extraordinary. Everything is very well designed, 
and they've got a lot of silverware on display, and we've not even got anywhere yet. The first port of call is the director's box, and these are some of the nicest facilities that I've ever come across in football. But before I can step out onto the field, the police are here. They're questioning me over our friend from this morning, and they've indicated that they and the staff believe that our friend is suffering from some mental health issues, and they asked if I wanted to press charges. If he is suffering from some mental issue, I'd rather see him get help rather than see him inside of a jail cell, so if he is watching, good luck to you sir. Anyway, this is the view from the director's box. What a view, huh? This is a gorgeous view of a stadium, and these are definitely the best seats in the house. Feel free to take a seat and just take it all in. There is a lot of things to see here, from this famous clock end with a giant clock on it, to the middle of the field and everyone's working hard to make sure that the field is pristine, to the infamous North Bank, where all the passionate Arsenal fans sit. When you're up here, it's easy to kind of have a look and then move on, but I highly recommend that you take your time and take a good look at the detail of the stadium. And there are various things that you probably see that you wouldn't notice if you were rushing. Especially with the interactive audio guide, if you want to learn a little bit more about a certain section of the stadium, you press the relevant section on your screen and it tells you literally all about it. The audio guide was actually pretty good and I highly recommend that you actually pick one of these up in the entrance. It comes included in the price. Before you leave this area, check out the Invincibles trophy. This is what they receive for going through a whole Premier League season unbeaten. The only team to do so in the Premier League era. Next up is the Diamond Club, another exclusive club where people with money come to watch football games. And I had a nice conversation with Daniel here as to the eye-watering prices that people are charged just to sit in this place. But having said that, if I had the money, I definitely would. The attention to detail in this place is absolutely superb, and it makes me kind of want to buy lottery tickets now. Hmm. Anyway, it's time to go down the lift, and the first thing you'll come across is this time capsule that was actually placed here when the stadium was built. Fuchin in here, you're halfway through the video, and let me tell you about the Arsenal competition. I'm actually giving away a goodie bag that I bought at the Arsenal store. Stick around to the end of the video to find out more. But in the meantime, back to the tour. If you've been sleeping under a rock for the last two weeks, Arsenal have just won the FA Cup for the record 14th time. And here it is. This is the FA Cup. The actual one. The real one. Not a replica. And you can have your picture taken with it. They'll obviously try and sell you this at the club shop, but it's actually kind of cool that you get to see the actual FA Cup. Not a replica. But anyway, the next stop is the pre-match tunnel. They've got a lot of cardboard cutouts here with your favourite players, so it's a good photo opportunity. You then head left into the Arsenal changing room. No, this isn't the changing room. That palatial thing over there is the changing room. In fact, this whole area is absolutely massive. I mean, look at the size of that cold tub. Look at the size of these massage tables. Everything is literally giant sized here. How big are their players? Speaking of players, this is where the Arsenal get dressed. This is their famous dressing room. And once again, the attention to detail here is pretty amazing. Feel free to take pictures of you and your favorite player's shirt. If there's a tour guide around, which there usually is, it's a good time to ask questions about what happens in here. Like where the players generally sit, what their pre-game rituals are, etc. It's pretty interesting to find out. Once you've taken your pictures of your favourite player's shirt and locker, it's now time to head on out. Oop, can't go into Mikhail Arteta's room for some reason. He's probably plotting something. It's easy to kind of miss all of these pictures that are adorning the walls. So don't rush through it like I did. Take your time to explore. Thank you very much. This is the Arsenal Tunnel, so you can actually walk onto the tunnel as the players would. And the tunnel area is pretty massive, and the view from the tunnel, pretty damn good. So at the moment, everyone's hard at work preparing the pitch for yet another season, and it's only from down here that you realise 
boy, this place looks absolutely palatial. Seriously, it's like a cathedral, but with a football pitch. Be sure to take a seat in the Arsenal dugout. But my advice is to actually climb a few stairs and get a better view of the dugout. Oh, it's these two right here, the guys I encountered at the start of the tour. Believe it or not, they're actually from Brazil and have come all the way to see this stadium, so I think that's kind of cool. Take your time here at pitch level because you get some pretty damn awesome views of the stadium. It's time to disappear back down the tunnel and follow the arrows or the helpful members of staff pointing in their general direction and you'll get to the away team's dressing room. As far as away team's dressing room is concerned, actually not bad. I mean, this is nicer than some of the home dressing rooms that I've been in in some Premier League teams. There's a dressing room on the side of the away team's dressing room, not sure if that's for the referees or anything, but there's an additional one right next to it. They've got player interview rooms along this corridor, but some of them have been repurposed as dressing rooms because of COVID-19. The next stop is the press conference room and wait, what's my Brazilian guy doing? Is, is he having a dump? No, he's actually crouching down behind the desk so that it looks right in photos and videos. He's actually giving an actual press match conference here. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Take a seat up in the press auditorium or climb up the stairs and behind the desk where these guys were actually kind enough to take my picture. Muito obrigado. Into the press room now and look at the amount of space these journalists have. They've got more cubicles here than at BBC Sports. And that's a fact, I've been there before, and this place is significantly bigger, and more nicely decorated. Before you leave, pick up your free stadium tour certificate by punching your details in one of these computer terminals here. On your way out, hand in your audio guide, and you'll exit via the club shop, where they'll try and sell you the pictures of you and said FA Cup, and give you your stadium tour certificate. After you've done a little bit of shopping, it's time to leave, and basically, that's the end of your tour. Before you leave for good, however, I highly recommend that you check out the Arsenal Museum, which is in a building located opposite the stadium. It looks a little under construction, but I assure you it's actually open. Now, I didn't have enough time to check this place out for any great length of time, but it's as you'd expect from a typical football museum. Lots of trophies, lots of pictures, lots of shirts. It's all very, very enjoyable and definitely, definitely well worth visiting. Okay, just come out of the club shop and finished the tour here at the Emirates Stadium. And I gotta say, this is pretty much number one on my rankings. I'm gonna come out and say right now, the tour itself was actually excellent. You got to see pretty much everything that you could possibly want to see in a stadium tour. And everything is branded to holy hell. Everything is the right color, everything works. It looks like it's been very, very intricately designed. The attention to detail here, it's been absolutely amazing. And that's just the stadium. The real applause goes to the hardworking folk who work here at Arsenal Football Club. Let's be frank. Are there better stadiums that you can visit in the world? Yes, there are. But what makes a tour special is the staff. And the Arsenal staff were exceptional. Every single member of the team were happy to be working there and happy to help. It didn't matter what shirt I was wearing, they welcomed everyone with open arms here. It makes a massive difference when everyone has a positive attitude to their job and to their visitors. And you can tell they're actual fans. It was great talking football with every single one of these guys. They made me feel very welcome, even though I was wearing enemy colours. So thank you to Daniel, Kane, John, Timothy and Kurt, who didn't want to be filmed and that's cool by me, Pascal, Tichan, the Arsenal security staff, and in particular, Halil and Crystal, who went above and beyond to ensure my well-being and safety here at the Emirates Stadium. If the higher-ups at Arsenal Football Club are watching, your exemplary staff should be given a pay rise, and you might want to double Halil and Crystal's salary, because they totally deserve it. And if you're one of those people that gets angry and think that it's quote-unquote disrespectful to wear an opposing shirt in someone else's stadium, my advice to you is to learn a lesson from these guys. Hatred, racism and bigotry has no place in football. Not anymore. It's time to grow up. So Nin, where does this rank in the hierarchy of stadium tours? Honestly, this is number one and it's not even close. 
right there, right at the top, number one. And okay, is there better facilities out there? Yeah, there is. But is there a better football staff out there? I've not encountered one, apart from possibly Celtic. It's easy to get to, it's reasonably cost effective, and quite frankly, if you're a fan of football, you'll have an excellent time here. Okay, Nin, I'm sold. What do I need to do? Well, you need to come here to the Emirates Stadium. It's dead easy to get to with the tube. Incidentally, they have a tube station called Arsenal Tube Station, and that's on the Piccadilly line, so it's dead easy to get to from the centre of London. The cost to do the tour? Well, reasonably priced, I think it was about £25, which is pretty much the going rate, but for what you get, it's excellent value for money. Are they receptive of Spurs fans? You get a good light-hearted banter, but other than that, there was nothing negative about this, so I was highly surprised. Is there anything else I need to know? Yes. Because of the COVID lockdown, there's various measures that they've taken in order to ensure safety. And one of those measures is the fact that they've now operate a one-way system. So I highly recommend that you take your time, especially with the audio guide, explore every part of the stadium because once you walk past it, you can't actually go back in. So bear that in mind, take as many pictures and videos as you can. But other than that, there's nothing really to know, apart from come here, do the tour. I'm not kidding. If you're an Arsenal fan from across the world and you're umming and eyeing as to whether or not to go, for the love of God, go. Book your plane tickets, come to London, pay the money, and you'll have a fantastic time here. And furthermore, you'll be treated exceptionally well by the staff. So Nin, if I've only got time to do one tour, do I go to Arsenal or do I go to Tottenham? Well, on the next episode of Ultimate Bucket List. It's happened again. I know, I know, shame. What does he do out there? Hello again. Hi. <laughs> Guys, it's competition time and I'm giving you the chance to win this Arsenal goodie bag that I bought at the Armoury store, comprising of keyring, pin badge, this cool looking retro logo scarf, any Arsenal shirt in your size, in your colour, and housed in this rather attractive fetching bag. To win, follow the link in the description below and enter as many times as you like. I know you guys love the stadium tours, so it would help me immensely if you share this content because it would give me a bit more impetus to make more. So help me out by sharing my content across the world and win some stuff at the same time. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the tour today and if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below and if you've got any other suggestions for bucket list ideas, you know what to do. If you get enough suggestions, I'll go ahead and do that. So guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode to get to from the centre of London. Ah, be blinded by sweat. <laughs> Ow. So from Crystal. <laughs> I hope I'm not just like being blinded with sweat through recording all of this. And there's a train just ruining my audio. Just bear with me a second. If Arsenal Football Club is watching this, give all your staff a pay rise. I'm not kidding. <laughs>